Ask Your Pharmacist Season 3 is proudly brought to you by Dragnet, the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana, Letter Pharmaceuticals, Chango, U School, and the Tema Christian Eye Center. Welcome to the final episode of Ask Your Pharmacist Health Show. We are so excited and grateful to you for staying with us right from episode one up until today. Now, if you have missed any of our episodes, you can find us on YouTube at My Pharmacist TV, on Instagram at underscore Ask Your Pharmacist, and on Facebook at Ask Your Pharmacist. My name is Kune Dudapa. Now, this show is proudly brought to you by Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. Your prescriptions and orders will be reviewed and your medication delivered to you in the convenience of wherever you are. Download the app on the App Store and Play Store. Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana, Amicus Humani Generis. Pharmacists are friends of the human race. Chango, your platform of trust for group donations. Download the app on the App Store and Play Store. Chango, for your group and crowdfundings. U-School, your most comprehensive school management system. U-School provides services from student admissions to payment of fees using a simple short code. Contact IT Consortium on 055-949-7120 or email info at uschoolonline.com. Letab Pharmaceuticals. Letamin, a multivitamin and mineral supplement for total growth and vitality. Folleron Zinc is a folic acid, zinc and iron supplement for iron deficiency. Letamox, your trusted dewormer for the entire family. Contact Letter Pharmaceuticals on 030-222-4613. Tema Christian Eye Center, a comprehensive eye care facility with skilled and experienced professionals and exceptional customer service. You can locate the Tema Christian Eye Center in Tema Community 1 adjacent to the St. Paul's Methodist Church. Contact them on 030-221-1999. Tema Christian Eye Center changing lives through proper eye care. Now we are excited because you, our lovely viewers, have made us an award-winning health show. From the Ghana Pharma Awards 2023, your favorite health show, Ask Your Pharmacist, picked up an award. Do visit our socials to find out more on this award. Now don't go anywhere, stay with us. When on campus and not well, I worry no more. Thanks to Dragnet. With the Dragnet app, I can chat with a pharmacist anytime for my medications and they are delivered to me right here on campus. I am a trader. If I need drugs, I cannot leave my goods and visit the pharmacy. All I need to do is click on the call feature on the Dragnet app and I speak with the pharmacist. The drugs are delivered to me right here. Dragnet. As a businessman, moving around to search for my medication could be very frustrating. But now, with the Dragnet app, I'm able to upload all my prescriptions and have them delivered to me wherever I am. The Dragnet app also allows me to order refills for my mother to treat her chronic illness. Dragnet delivers all the medications to her on time. It's so reliable and convenient. Download the Dragnet app from the Google Play Store or App Store. Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. Araba, there are some people at the door. Go and tell them I have traveled to Russia. Yes, daddy. Where is your father? My father said I should tell you he has traveled to Russia. Your father has killed me. I sent him money from America to complete my house for me. He He's come on. Our old student association contributions. He He's come on. Even the money from the fundraiser for Kweku surgery. Oh! He He's come on too! Don't be a victim. If you're contributing to a project, alumni dues, or any public campaign, Chango is your best choice. Chango keeps track of all donations and gives you the power to know exactly where the money goes. Chango is approved by Bank of Ghana. Call 0270-066-614 or visit changoapp.com for more information. Oh, Araba. Chango for your groupings and crowdfunding.
Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching your favorite health show, Ask Your Pharmacist. We are here at NS Chemist Limited, and I have with me Mr. Wilfred J, the production manager. Thank you for joining us there. Thank you very much, Konedo, and uh, we want to welcome you on behalf of top management and the management of the manufacturing division. I want to say you are highly welcome, and we thank you for the opportunity to be part of your wonderful production. Thank you. Now tell us, what does NS Chemist do? NS Chemist principally started operation in 1986 as a sole proprietorship company importing, distributing, wholesaling and retailing pharmaceutical products. And the company is on record that uh, it deals with reputable pharmaceutical companies across the globe. And this action continued, this business uh, project continued way, way, way up until 2000, 2001 when we set up our first manufacturing plant, which is one out of three currently, and started manufacturing locally. And this we have done up until now. So in a nutshell, NS Chemist manufactures, we import, we export, we distribute wholesale and retail pharmaceutical products and other related uh, household consumables for the Ghanaian population, the West African sub-region, as well as other places. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. J. Now, like you mentioned, manufacturing. So we want to dwell there today and talk about drug formulation. Now, what are the different dosage forms that are available for the manufacturing of medicines? So for NS Chemist, in uh, perspective, currently we have about five different dosage forms. So we have solid dosage forms, which is presented to the consumer as tablets. We have capsules. We have powder in jars and in bottles as dry powder for suspension. We have oral liquids and non-oral liquids and many, many others. So if you put the portfolio together, as you can see a number of them displayed on my index here, right. we have a great deal of products, about 200 pharmaceutical presentation, which can be reclassified into five dosage forms. Right. Now we want to zoom in on packaging. I can see that you have some... Um, package or package material in front of you. Tell us what what informs the different types of packaging that you have. So we, based on the dosage forms we have, we also have different types of uh, packaging materials. But the first consideration is the molecule you are dealing with. Each molecule has different set of uh, uh, environmental concerns. Right. You want to also keep your product in a very stable condition from the point of manufacture till the shelf life is over. And for this reason, from our research, our formulation principles and our uh, scientific discussions, we come to know the nature of the molecule and that determines what packaging selection must go for a specific uh, product we produce. Remember, the packaging is not only to protect the product, but it must also be designed to make it appealing. What is in there? What is the strength? What is the volume? Containment. For instance, if you take this, the packaging should be such that when you take a portion of it, we call it portion control. You take a portion of it, the packaging must protect the product till the, the content is completely used. When you come to tablet production, depending on the color, the molecule you are dealing with, the primary packaging, you may choose what we call PVDC, you may choose PVC. What if the tablet is sensitive to light? Why don't you use a PVDC? which is opaque and light cannot penetrate. If the uh, product is sensitive to moisture, why don't you avoid aluminum foil and PVDC and use aluminum foil against aluminum foil to protect the product well over the shelf life. We also package our product. In fact, one of the trump cards of NS Chemist is how we present our products on the market. And that is why we have, we have won the admiration of a lot of international companies who are ready to go into manufacturing partnership with the company. And currently we are doing a lot of products even for Ezeta Pharmaceutical, a company registered in the UK. We are manufacturing for them. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. J. Now, the last thing I want to find out, on the box, we see batch number. What is the importance of a batch number? So batch number is for the purposes of traceability and okay. identification. Okay. So for instance, if you take this product, I have a batch number 0909Z. What it means is that this is the ninth batch and it was done 
in the ninth month okay. and it was done in 2023. So assuming that this product goes on the market and tomorrow an issue is raised against this batch, based on the batch number, we are able to uh, network with our distributors and record the product for the purposes of not putting anything unsafe mm -hmm. or non-efficacious to the consumer. Thank you. Right. So that's the importance of the batch number. Now, NS Chemist has been so gracious to allow us into their plan today. We are going to go through a live demo of tablet formulation. Yes. So do stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Are you a proprietor seeking to notify parents on fees payments, arrears and PTA meetings? Or are you the busy proprietor who needs an all-round anywhere access to your school and its administration? If you answered yes to any of these questions and more, then your problem is solved. USoft Solutions has the solution for you, USchool. USchool is a robust school management system which is tried and tested with over eight years track record. USchool has rich modules for admissions, fees payment, fees billing, academic reports, journal ledger, messaging, petty cash, and many more. By dialing star 789 star 800 hash, parents can pay fees directly to the school's bank account, receive SMS receipts for the payment, and a link to download electronic receipts in PDF. Our SMS model allows you to send unlimited SMS messages on fees payment, fees billing, student outstanding fees, and any other messages. All transactions and payments go through an audit and validation process so you know who collected what and when. With a single sign-up, you get to enjoy all these without any hidden charges. Call Yusuf Solutions today on 0559-497-120 or register at www.uschoolonline.com or email info at uschoolonline.com and have a stress-free school management. Yusuf Solutions, empowered to do more. Yamamu, Akwa Badeba, Tema, Christian Eye Center. Ah, a year in the Arisabia. Tema Christian, I year in the Arisabia, a share in the Yario, Bia, a free in Colomu, Ecosi, in Penning Fosso, set a far near, I will say, a man will draw, and now send a bay operation, and after say, oh, here, space in poor. Your dispensary, fully functioning dispensary, ah, a draw beer, a here, I will say, a demo, now would you go in so many con, Ubinibi, yet bemo. Monday to Saturday, Opposite Golden Chopstick Restaurant, and now say St. Paul's Methodist. Ah, sorry, no. Tema Christian Eye Center, changing lives through proper eye care. Welcome back from the break. Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching Ask Your Pharmacist Health Show. We are here at NS Chemist Limited with Mr. AJ, and he's going to walk us through what happens in the raw material warehouse, which is where we are standing presently. Mr. AJ. Thank you very much. Once again, Kunedu. Uh, we are the raw material section of NS Chemist, the manufacturing division, and we keep and store raw materials here. As I mentioned earlier in uh, our interview, we manufacture about 200 products. We need raw materials, so this is why we keep them. These raw materials are verified and fully analyzed before they are released for use. We have various types from various uh, sources. Normally what we would have done is to approve a vendor before we agree to purchase raw materials from them. Principally, most of them come from the Americas, the Europe, and then also from the Far East. So as you've heard, these raw materials are sourced from the finest of places to make the medicines that help keep you healthy. We're moving from here to the production plant. Stay with us. From the warehouse, when we get our raw materials, we pick specified quantities and then specified types. Then we bring them here to weight adequate quantities for the next stage of production. So this is the dispensary where raw materials are weighed. 
for the next stage. Today we want to focus on solid dosage form, principally tablet. Even right. though we have about five dosage forms, we want to take tableting for the purposes of today's uh, show. Right. So let's see our dispensary. So in tablet production, we use raw materials as we described earlier. Today we are looking at the production of metformin. At NS Chemist, we call it NFH. And these are typical raw materials, the active ingredients we use in producing metformin. We have two different scales at the dispensary where depending on the weight, let's say less than 16 kilograms, we have a tabletop scale we use. And then if the weight is above 16 kilogram, we have the platform scale we use. So this is a typical dispensary. Now, because we deal in a lot of powdery materials, we have what we call plimovent extraction system to take away all the powder in the environment to ensure that our staff who are working here are safe. And then also there is no cross-contamination. So NS Chemist is a quality conscious com uh, company, even at the starting point of manufacturing where we weigh. So what we do next is to move our weighed items for granules preparation. Okay. And that process of preparing the granules is called granulation. Right. But you can see an equipment here called an insectocuter. So okay. at NS Chemist, we are not only interested in using good materials, using good machines, good, using good personnel, but we are also conscious of the environment. So we don't want to see insects. We don't want to see ants. So we have this equipment here to ward off such uh, insects and other you know, flying uh, uh, organisms in the environment. Very so well. welcome to the granulation room. So our weighed materials are here, ready for use to form granules. The raw materials as they come are not good enough for compression. And therefore we must convert them to granules as I mentioned in a process called granulation. And this is where we do it. And these are the set of equipment we use in doing this. So we do what is called kneading, where we add a binding solution to the material. And you can see the gentleman at the top there trying to get the material properly kneaded. After kneading, we do drying and then when we finish drying, we come over here and then we reduce the mass, the wet mass, okay. to particle sizes that are adequate and good enough for tablet compression. Right. When we do that, we go through what we call a first phase, that is what I have described, and then there is a second phase where the materials are mixed homogeneously for tablet compression. So principally, the aim for granulation is to convert amorphous materials into granules which can flow and be compressed into tablets. Right. Thereafter, we coat, then we package it for the market. So that's what we do here. Let's go and get our tablets compressed. Having four granules from granulation, the next stage in our tablet production is to compress the granules into that conventional tablet which the market knows. And this is where we do it. This is place is called a tableting session. Right. One of the latest with all the accessories to ensure that the product that comes out is of the highest quality. So this is a typical tablet compression machine. We call it Legacy Optima. Okay. And this is able to produce about 222,000 tablets per one hour. Wow. And the granules we form from granulation mm -hmm. is now ready for compression. And so I have my colleagues here who are compressing the granules into tablets, as you can see, packed here. Right. And this machine comes with a lot of modern accessories. And that is how NS Chemist works. We are very conscious of what we put out there to, for the customer. So we have here a tablet machine or tablet deduster, which takes all the dust, so the tablet comes to you very clean. Right. And then we have a metal detector also attached to the machine. So the minutest of metal found in the product, perhaps from the other processing lines, are completely taken away or rejected. So what goes on the market is free from traces of metal, and the patient, we can guarantee the safety of the patient from our product. 
This is legacy optima for tableting of our you know, product. So we want to protect the tablet with compress. The tablet may present with some bitterness and then un unpleasant odor. So we want to coat it, make it glossy, appear nice, and make it conventional. The identity of the tablet must be maintained. So we coat it here. So we are ready to coat our tablet. So we have a wonderful film coating machine. Remember, at NS Chemist, we also do enteric coating and sugar coating. Yes, for the purposes of masking, odor, and other things. So we have our materials weighed here. We prepare our solution and then drop them here. There's a peristatic pump which will atomize the solution as the tablet will roll inside, as you can see. Then the solution is sprayed gradually and a layer is formed over the tablet. At the end of the process, we polish it and it becomes glossy and then we go ahead and pack. After the product has gone through all the quality checks and evaluation, we are ready to go to the market. So the tablet we coated, it's now ready for packaging, which is the last but one activity before the product gets to the consumer. So we bring it here for primary packaging. And we have a machine called BP-102 for primary packaging. We blister there using PVDC, PVC, and other form of specified packaging material based on the molecule we are dealing with. After primary packaging, the product is now brought for secondary packaging. And we have a catenator here, which can give us well-packed 120 pieces of the product within one minute. And currently, we are producing for an international company called Ezeta Pharmaceutical, registered in the UK. And one of the products we do for them is what you see on the line. It's a metronidazole tablet, 400 milligram. And we do this for Ezeta. And we also contract manufacture for other companies. So this is exactly what we do here. Tentatively to say that all the activities we started at the dispensary ends at packaging. From here, the product is in the warehouse, ready for distribution. So today we've gone through the formulation of tablets. What are some of the tests that the tablets undergo before they are sent onto the market? Okay, that's great. The tablets, when they come into the QC lab, whatever we do first, we do the physical parameters. So the physical parameters, we check the weight variations of the tablet, and then we do the D time, the D time of the tablet. That is the time it will break down. Okay. And then from there, we do the dissolution of the tablets to, before the assay. So the assay, we have some instrument that we use for the assay. We have the HPLC, we have the UV, and then sometimes, depending on the tablet that it is, we can also use the titrometry method to ascertain the assay. Thank you so much for spending time You're with welcome. us. You're welcome. So we are still on the production floor here at NS Chemist Limited. I hope you are enjoying the manufacturing of tablets so far. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. You're welcome to today's episode of Dose for Healthy Living. My name is Carl, and we come your way today again with yet another exciting and insightful show. And today, I'll be interacting with farm doctor Odru Asari, who is a pharmacist with Dragnet. You're welcome to the show, farm. Thank you very much. Right. So, farm, I know most of our viewers today are culprits of this act of opening oral antibiotics into their wound. What is your advice, and are there any effects that happens after they do this? Thank you very much for the question. So antibiotics come in different dosage forms and are administered through different routes. For example, this is a very common drug, red and yellow. It's made to be administered orally, but most people apply it directly into their wound. So they take the capsule, they open it, and they pour the content of the capsule, which is the powder, directly onto their wounds. And this is wrong. And irrational use and abuse of antibiotics leads to resistance. So everyone is cautioned not to take drugs on their own without speaking to a pharmacist. You walk into the pharmacy, you speak to their pharmacist. When they give you the drug, they will tell you the right way to take it and the right way it should be used. Thank you very much. Thank you. So viewers, you heard the right. The use of oral antibiotics into our wounds is wrong and could lead to antibiotic resistance. Let's desist from this act. 
My outfit was made by Yao Darko. You can follow him on all social media handles at Yao Darko. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with us, Mr. J. It's been a pleasure spending our day here at NS Chemist Limited. What are your final words for our viewers? Uh, my friend, Kunedo, I want to thank you very much for coming along. NS Chemist as a company is excited to be part of this uh, program. And let me just state that NS Chemist also stands very tall when it comes to the training of young pharmacists and then uh, graduate pharmacists. We mentor them. We take them through not only the practical aspect, but we try to marry their academic work with what happens in the industry. Right. So we are grateful you came. We are very grateful. Thank, Thank you, you once again. Thank you. Viewers, like I mentioned, this is the last episode of your favorite health show, Ask Your Pharmacist. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for learning with us. If you have missed any of our episodes, do catch up on YouTube, My Pharmacist TV, on Instagram, underscore Ask Your Pharmacist, and on Facebook, at Ask Your Pharmacist. Now, season three has been proudly brought to you by Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. Your prescriptions and orders will be reviewed and your medications delivered to you in the convenience of wherever you are. Download the Dragnet app on App Store and Play Store. The Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana, Amicus Humani Generis. Pharmacists are friends of the human race. Chango, your platform of trust for group donations. Download the app on App Store and Play Store. Chango, for your group and crowdfunding. U-School, the most comprehensive school management system. U-School provides services from student admissions to payment of fees using a simple short code. Contact IT Consortium on 055-949-7120 or email info at uschoolonline.com. Letab Pharmaceuticals, Letamin, a multivitamin and mineral supplement for growth and vitality. Follow-on Zinc is a zinc Folic acid and iron supplement for iron deficiency. Letamox, your trusted dewormer for the entire family. Contact Letap Pharmaceuticals on 030-222-4613. Tema Christian Eye Center, a comprehensive eye care facility with skilled and experienced professionals and exceptional customer service. You can locate the Tema Christian Eye Center in Tema Community 1, adjacent St. Paul's Methodist Church. Contact them on 030 221-1999. Tema Christian Eye Center, changing lives through proper eye care. Now, this beautiful outfit I'm wearing is from Ladi Asaki. You can find Ladi Asaki on Instagram at Ladi underscore Asaki. Number is on your screens. Thank you once again for making this show an award-winning show. Thank you for being interested in your health, for learning, and for staying tuned. We are coming your way again next year with season four. Do stay with us on socials. Till then, stay well and stay blessed. Ask Your Pharmacist Season 3 is proudly brought to you by Dragnet, the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana, Letter Pharmaceuticals, Chango, U School, and the Tema Christian Eye Center.